but the, these along the top here are all the aircraft I worked on when I was 14 and a half. The first one's a DC-3, the next one is a push-pull Cessna, this one is called a Piaggio, this side on and the front on, that one's a Fokker Friendship, and that one's a Bristol Freighter, and they open at the front as a cargo plane. I, then I joined the Air Force, and the Air Force, is that, oh, that was my rookie banner, I joined the Air Force in, on the 8th of the 9th of 68, and I graduated from the Air Force, well, the 14th, the 11th, 68. I, then I got posted to another base to do more training. And the first aircraft I worked on in the Air Force was an old DC-3 again, but an Air Force one. And then I went on to the Caribou, which was used in the Vietnam War. I came back... And then I started work on the F4E Phantom, which is the interim before we got the F111. That's a side-on shot, and that's all the that, that's drop tanks and three drop tanks and all the missiles on the Phantom. And then all the way down to here, I went on to the F111. We got them in 1973, and then I went back, and I came back onto the Mirage at Williamstown in, in New South Wales and then to Malaysia and it's four squadrons of the aircraft there. This one is on display at the Calandra Aircraft Museum and that was another one from Arju, our air, for, air, air research development mob and then uh, I ended up on the Orion and I worked on them until I got out of the Air Force in 1988. I went into a civilian job after that and then they were calling for ex-engine fitters as, con as uh, private contractors. I ended up going out to the Air Force Base again and I started building the F-111 engines again with all this mob. So that's my life story and I'm very, very proud of it. Well done, Dad. Thank you. Well done, Dad.